Cycle NBAT LifePo4 Battery and Power Queen LifePo4 Battery Charger Review. Got that coming up next. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The good folks at Cycle and Bat sent me this 12 amp, 20 amp hour, 12 volt LifePo battery for review. And what I, what I had to do was I also had to purchase a LifePo 4 battery charger. So I purchased this Power Queen 14.6 volt, 20 amp LifePo 4 battery charger. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the unboxing of the LifePo 4 battery. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing for the LifePo 4 battery from Cycle and Bat. And it is a 12 volt, 20 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. It comes sealed in plastic. And it looks like there's some instruction manual here. It's called Let's Get Started. Let's go ahead and open this up. And let's get started. It's a handy guide to go ahead and get your Cycle MBAT4 battery charged up here. Tells you some precautions that you need to take. And here's a product manual from Cycle MBAT. And it looks like this is a warranty registration card right here. Product manual is very detailed. Gives you a lot of information in here. Very useful information there. Let's go ahead and get the battery out of the plastic here. It's a very snug fit for the battery and the plastic here. 12.8 volt, 20 amp hour. There's a guide on the back over here. See there's the positive and the negative terminals. And that's the Cycle N4 battery. Okay, we'll go ahead now and take a look at the unboxing of the Power Queen LiPo 4 battery charger. Okay, we're going to go ahead and unbox the Power Queen 14.6 volt 20 amp hour LiPo 4 battery charger. It's wrapped in plastic here. six point volt 20 amp hour and here's the power cord and back here's the battery charging status indicator and then the cable that goes to the battery here's the power cord there's a cable that attaches to the battery and directions from Power Queen. And it shows clear specific directions on how to connect your LiPo 4 battery charger to your LiPo 4 battery. Next, we'll go ahead and take a look at charging the LiPo 4, setting up and charging the LiPo 4 battery. So we're gonna go ahead and attach the cables onto the battery here. Black for the negative and the red for the positive. And it takes a Phillips head screwdriver for this. And 
going to hand tighten it here. Let's go ahead and get this tight on both both terminals. Got that one tight. Let's get this one tightened. Okay, those are good to go. Good, that one's all set. Now let's go ahead and get the charger out. We're going to hook a portion from the charger into the battery itself, a big kind of power pole connector, if you will. You can see it's clearly indicated plus and minus on, on, the, on the connector there. And here's the Power Queen charger. Let's go ahead and plug the cord into the Power Queen charger itself. Now let's go ahead and plug that into the outlet. There's a green light that came on and indicated it started charging and then the charging status is red which means it is charging and you can hear the fan on the Power Queen charger as well. It is a little on the noisy side, but you you know that the you know that it's working. And here's the color code indicator from the manual itself. Green indicates that it is fully charged. And we're starting at 10:15 here. Okay, it is fully charged here because the charging status light is green. And it is approximately almost 11.10, almost an hour to get it fully charged. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the use of the LiPo 4 battery with my ICOM IC705. Okay, I've hooked the battery up to my rig runner here and also my PowerWorks voltage meter. You can see it has 13.3 volts on here. And here's my IC705. And we're going to go ahead and plug this cord that I got from Quicksilver into the IC705 to let you know and show you that I do not have a battery in here. So it will go be powered directly off of the battery. Let's power it on here. See, RF power is at 100%. So we are operating at a full 10 watts here. And it's 13.3 volts. And there is a test of the cycle end bat with the IC705. Question of the day. What did you think of the cycle end bat LiPo 4 battery and Power Queen LiPo 4 battery charger? Let me know in the comments section below.